yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly, Illmatic Fish Keeping Funkadellas, you watch Aqua Funk Whoa! Okay, okay, okay. New car, new brakes, ain't got a hang of it yet. But you watch Aqua Funk Quadrants with me, Aqua Funk. And um, today we're gonna be talking about a real ill chill. Hold up. Yo, what is up, all you Stone Cold Superfly, Illmatic Fish Keeping Funkadellas, you watch Aqua Funk Quadrants with me, Aqua Funk. And today we're gonna be talking about a real ill, chill, cool type of fish. I'm using the words chill and cool on purpose because we're talking about the Geophagus Belzani. But before we get started, please, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and subscribe so you can get all the funky little goodness, hit that bell so that you get notified. And, and listen, that thumbs up pays the bills. It allows this channel to grow and it allows this channel to continue. So please hit the like button. I truly, truly do appreciate you and the gesture. So now let's get into it. Let's get into this Geo Vegas Belzani. I happen to have a Geo Vegas Belzani. It was gifted to me from a buddy of mine, Dan Connor at Consolidated Fish Farms. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I really didn't know nothing about this fish except that it was a Geo Vegas, which of course, you guys, if you didn't know, means Earth Eater. Geo Vegas means Earth Eater. So it was a Geo Vegas. But I wasn't. Um, versed on the exact type of geophages, the, the actual Belzani. I didn't know much about it. Um, and when I got it, well, I had to do some research. Um, I had to do my own observations. Um, most of everything you see on my channel, 99.9% .9 of it is personal um, um, exploits of my opinion on fish or the opinion of someone that I might have on as a guest. So um, just keep that in mind whenever you're watching my channel. This is my personal opinion um, through experience or through the experience of someone else. Let me fix this. All right, so let's, let's, let's talk about the elephant in the room. It's, it's general appearance, okay? The general appearance is definitely strange. I'll be the first one to admit that. I, I don't know if a lot of you guys have seen this fish. Um, I haven't seen it in real life. I've seen pictures here and there. It's, it's kind of rare to have. Um, I seen a, a, a place over here selling it for 80 bucks. So it, it's uh, it's not an everyday fish. It's kind of a it's kind of a feather in your cap if you have one of these. Even if you don't you don't feel the looks of it. This joker, a, a big old male, probably get about eight inches. A female, looking at six inches. But let's talk. Like I said, the elephant in the room is that big old bulbous gelatinous mass on top of his head, um, which is a nuku hump. It's not a KOK. -K. It's it's a nuku hump. And uh. This is, this is a, this is, I, I, I the only reason um, for this thing to exist, in my opinion, is probably um, for mating purposes, where the female judges the virility of the male by the size of the nuku hump. Ooh, baby, look at you, you got a big old nuku hump on top of your head, you so, you so sexy, I like that. <laughs> I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So, yeah, um, mine, the one I have, he, he, uh, he, he's, he's, he's developing a nuku hump, so even at, um, about five inches, which is how big mine is, um, maybe pushing six, um, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one, um, a male. Macho, macho man, man, I wanna be a macho, a macho. Okay, so how many of you thought I wasn't gonna break into a, 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 a village people song? Really? Have you never seen my channel? They are geophagus, so they do sift off the bottom. But the one I have willingly, they are a geophagus species, so they do sift off the bottom. But mine willingly um, eats from you know the top or even the um, middle of the tank. Uh, they are shy at first. When I got mine, um, mine was was it took it took about a good month for it to really come out of shell. But here's the thing. Um, and I'm gonna get to the really cool attribute of this fish at the end of the video. So let's let's move on to another physical attribute. Let's talk about its fins. Um, I'm, I'm really these fins are really I'm kind of on the fence about these fins because it's its dorsal fin, especially on the males, seems misshapen and deformed. Its pectoral fins um, seem tattered, and, and they have a really really cool iridescent polka dots on them. So I, I'm really loving the iridescent polka dots because they really pop on this really bland generally bland colored fish there is yellowing on the bottom and I'm gonna get to that I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to some of that coloration 
um, a little bit later. I, on mine that I have here, it does have a little bit of red um, and blue in its dorsal fin, but its body is generally bland. Um, so if you're the type of person who likes that really wild, natural look, uh, this guy, this guy is definitely up your alley. Let's talk about the base of its tail. The base of its tail, to be honest with you, to be honest with you, I mean, other fish have nuchal humps, right? It's not, a, it's not like, oh, oh my God, I've never seen that before. We've seen it before, right? But the base of this tail, when I first saw this fish, I thought this base of the, the, um, this fish was actually deformed, stunted in growth in some way, shape, or form. But no, its tail actually cocks up um, at an angle, and I, I cannot figure this out. Um, usually, usually, uh, fish's physical attributes has to do with some kind of Darwinian reason, you know, um, something in its environment, um, causes this fish's tail to, to pop up in that, that angle for some kind of, uh, uh, advantage, whether it be for food or mating or, or protection or, or, or anything like that. But I can't figure out why this fish's tail is cocked up like that. So it, I always thought that fish was, this fish was, uh, deformed. And, and now when you take into consideration, you know, the nukuham, the finnage, you know, being tattered and almost looking um, deformed, uh, and, and the base of his tail, head to, head to, to tail, it, it's so many weird things that it actually works for this fish. Its body is really stocky like a little tank um, with a, a, a broadish head, at least broad for a geophagus. So, you know, all these weird characteristics, you would imagine you know, would be the ugliest fish in the world, and most people might think, you know, this fish is ugly, but all these strange attributes actually work for this fish in some strange way. Um, so now let's get to that, um, that really cool attribute, the one attribute that I've left out on purpose for the end. Let's talk about its, um, temperature, okay? The temperature on this fish, where it comes from in, uh, the Amazon, it, it actually likes cooler waters. When I first got this fish, I, I put it in my, my 55, which I keep at 80, but as I did my research, um, I, 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 um, I, I thought to myself, you know what, let me drop the temperature down a little bit to where it's still satisfying my other geos, but this one could get a little bit of comfort, um, you know, relief from the heat. And um, I did, and, and I noticed the fish was way more active and it started getting this yellowish coloration down at the bottom um, of, of its of its body. So, um, this fish actually you can have without a heater. Um, so you can do 60 to, to mid 70s on this fish and this fish is really happy. So that means no heaters are necessary. So that's less on your power bill. Not to mention, apparently this fish spawns in the spring, which I also thought was um, a little bit strange because like I keep other geos and, and cichlids, Amazonian cichlids, angels and whatnot. Now these guys, almost always will spawn when the water cools down. Whereas this fish is opposite. It spawns when the water warms up. So I always thought that was a little funny about this fish. It was a little odd. Um, this fish might be ideal for outdoor ponds depending on where you live in, you know. Um, this fish might be ideal for outdoor ponds depending on where you live in the world um, with its temperature requirements. And, Oh, man this fish is really cool fish i don't know that that's you know with it's with it's uh temperature range you know giving it the urge to merge when it does you know you, you might be interested in this fish i know i'm very interested in this fish um like i said a big old a big male will get about eight inches a female six inches so you know 55 will do but like always bigger is better so i would say minimum is 55 if you plan on spawning them and having fry definitely 75 and up I'm about to be at work. So my day is about to go straight in the crapper. All right, so that's the fish. That's my time. Like always, take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Take care of your fish.